Hey everyone, Kevin here today, and um, I actually want to show you guys five cool and awesome tweaks I found from the City of Market that can really help improve your usability and your functionality in iOS 5. Now keep in mind, not all tweaks from City are going to work completely with iOS 5. A lot of them are going to be in beta stages so far, just because of the nature that iOS 5 almost just came out a couple of weeks ago. So let's go ahead, and we're going to go ahead and jump into this real quick. So the first tweak I want to show you is called We Search, and notice how a lot of these tweaks are going to reside in the Notification Center. So We Search is the one that has the search bar, and basically what it allows you to do is it allows you to search from Google, YouTube, Wikipedia, and even search through your dictionary if you have a, uh, like a certain word you don't know about. So it lets you search through that, and you pretty much just type, and it brings you to whatever you need to search. So I'm going to go ahead and search Google, and I'm going to search I could app that. Uh, that and once you have that you press search and it brings you right over to the Safari tab and it will search for I could app that so that's definitely a really awesome tweak just if you want to quickly google something it's probably one of the best widgets to do so so that brings me to my next thing which is called pull to refresh for Safari now it's pretty straightforward all you got to do is pull to refresh for Safari and it will refresh whatever page you're on pretty simple for that it has it for mail and I think it has it for RSS uh, also I only have the Safari version of it. I'm planning on getting mail soon. So the next trick I want to show you is kind of interlaced with Notification Center and music, and it is called Now Listening. So if I were to double click the home button and I were to go over and play some music, you'd see that at the top it'll bring down some music information, but it will not reside in Notification Center. So if I were to bring that down, it just gives the little flip down notification, but it doesn't put any certain kind of notification in Notification Center. So that's definitely really cool if you're switching through your music and you're a real big music guy like me. Then you can go ahead and you can get some music information if you have a lot of songs on your iPod or iPhone or such. And then all you have to do is look at the top for the kind of music information you want. Now another cool extension of this app is if you were to open up the music app and you were to switch the song, it knows not to bring down that pull down notification just because you're in the music app and you already have the information in front of your face. So that's definitely a really awesome um CD tweak, but that actually brings us to our next CD tweak, which is called Music Center. Now, basically, what Music Center does is it gives you all the information and gives you some controls for your music in Notification Center. I just got a tweet by notification. So, basically, if I were to switch a song, I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick. You can see that it'll switch the song for me. Now, with now listening installed, unfortunately, the uh, controls over here seem to be pretty unresponsive. They don't work too well. But other than that, this is a great app for just seeing what song's playing if you just let it shuffle through and such. So that actually almost concludes our um, top five CD tweaks. Now the last one I have to show you is only interlaced with iOS 5 just because we were expecting kind of a big notifications uh, update, but we never really got that. So the next one is called Multiflow and it works with Activator and you can go into settings and you can mess with the preferences, but I'm not really going to show you that right now so you can go and see it there. But once you mess with the preferences and you set it up with Activator, you, you can activate it however you want, and it gives new um, it gives new kind of multitasking, kind of almost like WebOS did, where it gave you everything that's running in in the window it's running, kind of gives like a live feed of it. So that's definitely awesome. You can uh, pick between Expose and um, Cards. I I currently have Cards because I just find it to be cleaner and like um, the Safari Pages. But if you have Expose up then you can go ahead and rearrange all of your multitasking tabs. So anyway, guys, that's the end of this video. Um, I really hope you enjoyed this video. It took a while to find a couple of tweaks that are really worth showing you guys. So if you guys really like this video, um, could you go ahead and give me a thumbs up? And if you really like my content, really like the way you present it and such, could you go ahead and subscribe? Now, if there's anything I'm doing wrong, I, I enjoy some constructive criticism down below, so I can go ahead and I can always improve. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in another video. Hey everyone, if you didn't know this, there are more awesome Tinker Tweak videos that I do provide for you guys. Um, I plan to keep this series updated, so as long as I find a cool tweak, I plan to show it to you guys. So if you guys could just do me a favor and click those videos, then you might find some pretty awesome tweaks that you can use in iOS 5. Alright guys, again, thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoy the other videos if you do end up clicking them. Alright guys, see you later.